next tool we're going to explore is our paintbrush. Now I really recommend if you can get your hands on a, a tablet with a pressure sensitive stylus, you can really have some fun with this because you know that drawing with a mouse is like drawing with a brick. But you can still get some pretty nifty effects even with that. We're clicking on the paintbrush tool which is right below our shapes tool. And we're going to bring up our brushes palette. Once again, that's in the window. Brushes right below attributes. I'm going to click on this charcoal. And let's see. We'll bring our weight of our stroke to about 10. And I'm just going to draw a random line. That's pretty wild, isn't it? Now there are a bunch of libraries that you can use. Libraries are a way of getting a bunch of new options in Illustrator that aren't just your presets. So what I'm going to do, drag all the way down to brush libraries. See this Wacom 60? That is for one of those tablets I mentioned earlier. So. Some of these are kind of silly. I mean, go into decorative scatter just for the heck of it. And that's what you get. It's kind of fun to play with, although personally I'm not sure exactly what you would do with a lot of this stuff. But let's go down to artistic. These are a lot more useful. Let's try the scroll pen. And I can choose any one of these. Let's do that one. Just going to move that out of the window. So it looks like I've been using a four or five nib pen all at the same time. Let's go to borders. Let's try novelty. It's another one of these scatter ones. Now there are just literally hundreds of palettes that you can bring up if you just go online to Adobe's site or a lot of third-party sites where people have gone in and created these brushes. Now let's click on that first one. Very much like in our stroke lesson, Adobe Illustrator still sees this as a line. And I can go in to the points and manipulate the points as if it's just a rule. Now if I really want to get into this, I'm going to go down to Object and Expand Appearance. I'm going to zoom in to show you that it is now one very big shape. I can't change the curves separately, but I can go into all the individual points, play with them, and I can use the Add Anchor Point tool or the Delete Anchor Point tool to change this as if it's one big giant drawing. You can also use our Convert Anchor Point tool. I go into this tiny little one here. Make that rounded. So there's an awful lot you can do with these once you've drawn a shape with the brush tool.